In this video we're going to start our in-depth look at the lights and shapes that different vessels show. We're going to be starting off with rule 21, which is the definitions. I'm going to show you what each of the different lights are, because we're going to be using this during the other videos when we're looking at the lights of individual vessels. So rule 21, definitions. A masthead light means a white light placed over the fore and aft centre line of the vessel, showing an unbroken light over an arc of the horizon of 225 degrees, and so fixed as to show the light from right ahead to 22.5 degrees abaft the beam on either side of the vessel, or two points abaft the beam on either side of the vessel. So looking at it on this diagram we can see the masthead light is a white light starting two points above the beam on the port side running right the way round to two points above the beam on the starboard side. In my diagrams I'm going to shrink it down to be the right size and then we're just going to shift it along the vessel to put it in the correct place. Next up the side lights. Side lights means a green light on the starboard side and a red light on the port side each showing an unbroken light over an arc of the horizon of 112.5 degrees, and so fixed as to show the light from right ahead to 22.5 degrees above the beam on its respective side. In vessels of less than 20 metres in length, side lights may be combined in one lantern, carried on the fore and aft centre line of the vessel. So looking at it on the ship, we can see the green starboard light goes from right ahead to two points above the beam on the starboard side, and the red port light goes from right ahead to 22.5 degrees above the beam on the port side. When we're looking at them like this, all I'm going to do is shrink them down, and then we'll split them so they go on either side of the vessel, where they would normally be mounted. If this was a smaller vessel, of course, we'd still have the side lights from right ahead to 22.5 degrees above the beam, but when we shrink them down, we can keep them together in a combined lantern. This is only on vessels less than 20 metres. Next we have the stern light, which is a white light placed as nearly as practicable at the stern, showing an unbroken light over an arc of the horizon of 135 degrees, and so fixed to show the light from 67.5 degrees from right aft on each side of the vessel. This is actually just going to join up with those side lights, so it's going to be two points abaft the beam. So again, looking at a stern light on this diagram, it's going to start two points abaft the beam on the port side, and run right the way round to be two points abaft the beam on the starboard side. Again, it's only this size for the diagram. In reality, while I'm showing you each vessel, we'll shrink it down and put it in the appropriate place on the vessel. And then similar to stern light, we've got the towing light, which means a yellow light having the same characteristics as the stern light described in the previous paragraph. So on our diagram, it's going to be the exact same as the stern light. It's just going to be a yellow light shrunk down and put at the aft end of the vessel. An all-round light means a light showing an unbroken light over an arc of the horizon of 360 degrees. So it's quite simple, it's just all the way round. So here on this diagram we can see we've got the white light going all the way around the vessel. We could equally do it with a red light or a green light. Again we'll just shrink it down to be the correct size and then we'll put it in the correct position. So the difference with all round lights, of course, is they can stack on top of each other. So here we've got the white light underneath with a red light on top. Once they're in this particular configuration, we'll then shrink them down and put them in the correct space. And this is going to be representing a red light over a white light, both of them being all round lights. And then the final part of the rule just says a flashing light in this context means a light flashing at regular intervals at a frequency of 120 flashes or more per minute. So again this light is going to be represented in the same way on our diagrams. We'll shrink it down, put it in the right place, and then the light is going to be flashing at that frequency of at least two flashes every second. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Hopefully you found the information useful. It's just going to be acting as a foundation for future videos where we're going to be looking at the lights and shapes of all different sorts of vessels. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.